Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to use the Creo Advanced Rendering and how to create render of the car. I have prepared the some sub-assembly and some feature and I have to build right now from these 3D models the assembly. And it's a really useful because you don't want to change the color for we can say 500 components so you can create sub-assembly and merge it all together or you can reuse the functionality of restructure and you will create your custom structure for the rendering it's a really good tip and trick so i hope so that you found it useful and you can see that right now i can really easy the combine the car with the function the default orientation or default assembly constraint and you can place any kind of the objects and then set the custom color so it's up to you how you will set up your structure and model or if you would like to separately they use the colors for every component or directly to change the color in assembly mode so i will use the function change the colors directly in the assembly and but, but first of all i would like to select file option and entity display and i like to use the anti-aliasing and for example eight, eight times and edge display quality very high because on final we would like to have a really nice shape of the car you can see this car was simplified and right now i would like to jump into render studio and in render studio you can see that system at the background use the real-time rendering so if you change any color so for example over here in this example i like to reuse only existing colors and for example metallic yeah so you can select the object subassembly or part and set color and the system automatically in real time change the preferences of the objects or if you would like to change a different one select for example red and after a couple of seconds system will recreate the picture and if you need to edit please select the color and change the color or for example the definition of the color you can reuse the color wheel and the system again in real time change the details of the color you can use the diffuse reflectivity castle and uh, and other functionality and if you would like to know more how to apply and change the color please check the previous tutorial regarding the real-time rendering and manipulation with color lights backgrounds and all these topics over here I'd like to show you how quickly we can apply the existing colors from the ptc library and if you would like to create your custom one it's not problem you can create again your library of the colors and then reuse it again and again and for example if i will use the glass you can see that system will apply the glass directly is transparent but as you know in the glass we need to think about about the refraction index yes yeah? so please change the refraction index because for example we don't want to use a refraction index for the water but if you will change it yeah you can see here that right now the system show me the exact interior inside and slowly and surely i will apply the additional materials and for example metal and you can see here that you can wait a white while and the system will show you if it is brushed or it's a, a clear material or for example if it is scratched so apply the material what you want and again you can change it yeah but be careful select correct model Okay, and slowly continue. It's up to you. You can see that over here is really huge 
of the palette of the materials and step by step I can select the material and 3D model or assembly. You can select the object directly from the 3D or from the model tree. So it's up to you what is better, yeah? What you would like to select. If you would like to apply for more components, select the control button if necessary and the system will apply the colors for more objects. You can reuse it, this functionality with control button directly in model tree. So much faster selection of the object because you would like to apply for for example five or five hundred components yeah so it's fine or you can use the search functionality yeah so apply the color by search functionality first of all use the search as the component and then select the color and apply it's another option You can find, if necessary, the another colors. You can change the size of the thumbnail and browse the library. Really easy. So we can change the color of the hood or additional components. And the last one, we will apply the custom color for the lights. Yeah, the, these orange lines. So if you would like to change and edit, no problem. And again, you can use the color and system will in real time render change the color. Good. It looks that is everything. You can spin the model and you can see the... Oh, yeah. One additional one. And we can set black, for example. It's up to you. Yeah, you can select any color and quality and then change it if necessary. And red lights at the end, maybe that will be good. Great, and it right now looks perfect. Okay, if you will spin the model, you can see that system always start to use the real time visualization. And if you will wait for a while, the system will create this picture really nicely and smoothly. Yeah. So spin the model. You can. Use the spin center and the system will spin the model around the center of the model. And right now we can jump into edit scene. And what does it mean? You can change the environment lights. And if you will change the environment, you can use the preview the system used at the background HDRI. So you can find a lot of different kind of the HDR on the internet. And if you will check my picture, I always use the different one. But for now, I'd like to focus on the default from PTC. And you can see that over here is a couple of really nice HDRI the pictures, what you can use as the environment, as the background. And you can change the size yeah, if I will zoom it a little bit, you will see the room size. Yeah, so 
it depends what kind of the object you have and what you would like to show on the picture so zoom as you need and if necessary set up the saturation or rotate or specify the high and so on so you can see that you have a couple of additional feature in the menu and for example you can rotate and, and so on if you would like to apply the different one yeah we can use for example the road and you have a preview yeah so you can have a look what will be looks like and again if you will place it on the road check the size of the room and change it a little bit if necessary Try to spin and set your custom orientation. Yeah, right now it's not looks good, so we can spin it a little bit. And you can place with the rotation of the model or rotation of the scene. Yeah, so it's up to you what you will set up. And again, if you would like to use the, the floor effects, for example, shadow or reflection, it's up to you. You can switch on, switch off, and then focus on the additional preferences so for example over here is the example how to use the light and you can see that right now we are using the default lights from this scene and you can add more lights again if you would like to know more how to use the lights in the render i have created separate tutorial so please check the youtube channel and list for the rendering if you have any comments or question, please leave me under this video and I will try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, push the button as the like and share with your colleague. If you will focus on the background, you can see here that you can use the blend image environmental coral. So it's up to you what kind of the background you would like to use for the scene and at the end we would like to run the rendering but first of all some quick explanation that you can export the file to jpeg tiff or additional file type and you can specify your custom resolution if you would like to use for example 4k resolution change the resolution size and the system will apply you can specify maximum sample or maximum time for now i will use the five minutes and you can change the additional render send settings and you can see that is again a lot of customization and preferences what you would like to change and quick example for example we would like to see the global ground illumination on the bottom so you can run and and after a five minutes you will have your picture ready and quickly to say if you would like to spin the model and visualize run the animation and again more information you can found on my youtube channel how to use the animations mechanism and combine with the creo advanced rendering stay tuned like video and bye bye